This ended up being quite a bit more of a project than it was supposed to be, but it's done. So it ended up taking uh, like right at two weeks, but I'm pretty tickled with the final results. It's not perfect as far as the finish, but I can live with it. And I sort of immediately started relicking it, not on purpose. So it's already got a couple of little worn spots and whatever, and it will just get more and whatever. But I'm pretty pumped with the tone that it's giving. It, it sounds better than it did with the weird, like, pickup bed liner material stuff that was on it before. A little more resonance or whatever. So... For my guitar and bass nerds out there, we'll do a quick sort of grand thumb style rundown, tip to butt. We're working with a Fender made in Mexico, so it's a Fender Player Series Precision Neck. And this is a 1 and 5 eighths inch nut as opposed to a traditional 1.75 inch nut. So it's not quite as slim as a jazz bass neck at one and a half but it's a little narrower and a little easier to get around on. Uh, I'm, it's taking me a little bit. I've been playing a jazz neck for the last 15 years or whatever when I play. That's a whole other story, but it, uh, I'm starting to get used to it now and I really like it. Very nice satin finish. It's not the super posh American, you know, quality, but it's decent. Uh, Fender, proper Fender tuners, and then working our way back, we've got the Fender High Mass Bridge with a Rio Grande Pizzazz pickup in the middle. So this is set up to fit in a 51 style P-Bass body, but it's got the two magnets per strings like a Fender Jazz pickup would have. So, uh... It's pretty cool. It's not real hot or any, you know, wild or anything. It's it's a pretty clear kind of p bassy vintage tone, but a little less noise than the original design. And these pots in here, I can't even remember what they are, but they're going to go. I actually ordered a whole new set, so I'm going to get the joy of more soldering, <laughs> but uh, they're okay. They're just... I'm not loving the way they work, so I'm going to be changing those out. Uh, finally got the jack. This was a, so this is a, like a traditional flat jack that I had to like bend into and make it conform. And I was never able to quite get the shape exactly right and get it snug down on there and spent a bit more time working that out. And now I'm pretty tickled with the way that came out as well. So... You can see I've got a little early wear already down on the butt, but overall, I'm loving it, and it just feels good to play again. There are a ton of my actual supporters, like my real Patreon patrons, that are guitar and bass nerds. Like, the crossover is wild. So that's why I feel validated in sharing all of this on a gun channel is that I know that there is a giant crossover. Uh, something about gas, probably. Gear acquisition syndrome, right? Both guitar and gun people are constantly looking for the next thing that's going to give them that edge to get the better sound or to get better groups. And it, it, they're both hobbies that just can occupy our little minds and keep us out of trouble. So... That's what it's doing for me. It's also waking up a whole part of my brain that I feel like has been inactive for a bunch of years. Uh, it was really 10 years ago was the last time I was playing like with any kind of regularity. And that was for about a year and a half, not even a year and a half. And then I got a bunch of my bases stolen and, and my amp. And so that just kind of killed the whole vibe for me. And uh, as I mentioned in my last video, this got put away in storage and just sat there collecting dust and doing nothing. So it's good to have that back out. And that intro clip, if you're a music 
like engineer or actual sound person or a good bass player, I apologize. What that is is a drum track by a dude. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so I'm just playing the drum track from my phone into the amp and then playing along with it and recording it on my like $40 boom mic here. So yeah, <laughs> and my playing is rough. That is like, I discovered the whole idea of doing YouTube drum tracks to play along to this morning. <laughs> and I was like, hey, wait, what if I use that? So my timing's a little rough. You can hear me kind of pushing. I'm trying to ride right behind the beat and you can hear me getting ahead of it a few times. Eh, whatever. <laughs> it's a gun channel, right? <laughs> but anyway, thanks to everyone who has supported this channel because y'all helped fund all of this. And I do have a super cool giveaway announcement coming soon. That's all I got for today. Until next time, be easy, y'all.